Hi everyone, and welcome to Listening Comprehension. This is Level 1, Lesson 1. In this series, I will read a story to you and ask you some questions. Then I will teach you how to answer those questions. So first, I will read the story two times. Are you ready? Here we go. Raccoon babies are very small when they are born. They cannot stand or open their eyes. Only female raccoons take care of the babies. A mother might have four babies to take care of alone. She must leave them in the den when she looks for food. In the den, the raccoon babies are safe from danger. The mother raccoon worries that other animals might find her den. So, after a few months, the family moves. By then, the babies can walk and climb. Their mother has taught them to take care of themselves. Okay, I will read it one more time. Here we go. Raccoon babies are very small when they are born. They cannot stand or open their eyes. Only female raccoons take care of the babies. A mother might have four babies to take care of alone. She must leave them in the den when she looks for food. In the den, the raccoon babies are safe from danger. The mother raccoon worries that other animals might find her den. So after a few months, the family moves. By then, the babies can walk and climb. Their mother has taught them to take care of themselves. Question number one. How many babies does a raccoon mother usually have? Question number two. What is true of baby raccoons? Question number three. Why do raccoons move dens? Okay, here is the story again. Let's answer these questions. Question number one, how many babies does a raccoon mother usually have? A mother might have four babies to take care of alone. Okay, let's look at question number two. What is true of baby raccoons? They cannot stand or open their eyes. Oh, let's look at number three. Why do raccoons move dens? The mother raccoon worries that other animals might find her den. Now, if this was difficult, try listening to it again. You did a great job. Let's go to lesson number two.